Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be making a simple Mother's Day card. I want this to be simple enough for anyone to be able to do at any level. So first let's go over the supplies that you'll need. I am using a watercolor paper. This is the Canson Graduate watercolor paper. And I like this paper because it has a little bit of texture to it. So we will need one sheet of that for our card. And then I'm going to be using the Karen Markers Real Brush Pro Markers. The nibs are like an actual brush, but you can use any brush pens for this. I do use, the colors I'm using are, it's an orange red, a magenta red, and then a red lilac. And then I'm also using olive black, which is just like a deeper green color. So you can use any variation of that. And then I am also using a blender pen. So a blender pen is basically just like a brush pen, but with a clear liquid. So if you don't have a blender pen, you can always just use a paintbrush with some water for this technique. So first I'm going to go over, oh, also you need some washi tape too. First, I am going to go over the technique for the flower that we will be using. So the flower that we are going to be painting, or I guess with our pens coloring, will be this type of flower right here. It's just a really simple, it's almost like a filler flower, but it's so beautiful that you can use it as like a main floral too. So we're gonna learn how to do that one with some different colors. I wanna keep it really simple for you guys. So first things first, you're gonna take your green color and you're just going to make a stem, a long stem. So I always like to make my stem curved. And again, it does not have to be perfect. And then from there, I like to add just some stems coming off and they can be just different sizes. I like to vary it. Uh, like every other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna take one of my colors. Let's take orange, for example. And all I'm gonna do is add in about three marks just near that green stem where it comes off. Again, does not have to be perfect at all. This is part of the beauty of this flower. Okay, so now you gotta work kind of quickly because while it's wet, you're gonna use your blender pen and you're just gonna kind of, I call it soften the edges. So where it's wet, you're just gonna add some of that blender liquid around it and just kind of dab around. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no like particular shape. You just kind of touch the areas where it's wet and it gives it just a nice soft look. It's okay also if your pen touches part of the green part, that's okay. Okay, so a lot of times I get the question, well, what if the color is still on my pen? You can just use a, a blank piece of paper and just keep swiping until the color is off. And sometimes with this, the color, Color might still be a little bit on the nib, but it's not showing up, so it's cleaned off, which is just fine. If you're using a paintbrush, you would just get your brush slightly wet, not overly saturated, and do the same thing. Just touch the same areas around. So that is the flower that we are going to draw for our card. So let's take our piece of paper. We're gonna fold it in half to make our card. And because it's a thicker piece of paper, I'm gonna use a pen or you can use anything to kind of run along the edge to make a nice crisp seam there. So we are going to make the card open up this way. So now you're gonna take your washi tape and we are going to section off an area in the middle. This will be where we will be writing. So everything that will be 
all the flowers and stuff will be going around this edge. Okay. And then I will do another part below it. And again, you wanna leave that middle part cause that's where we're going to be writing. You can use scissors for this if you're like a perfectionist with having it be perfect. And then I'm gonna tape the sides also. I'm not a total perfectionist when it comes to this part. So if my edges are not perfect, then it doesn't bother me. But if it bothers you, just use scissors to make nice crisp edges. Okay, so now that we have it taped off, I'm going to start with my green and you do not want to work too many flowers at a time because if you do, it's going to dry and it's going to be a lot harder to soften the edges. Also, if you're using a blender pen, like um, a Tombow blender pen, and it's not as, it doesn't have as much ink flow as the Karen markers, you can always dip it in water because sometimes it's not, it doesn't flow enough or well enough to um, let the ink have the same effect as this here. All right, so. We're gonna go in like a color pattern. I'll start with purple, magenta, and then orange. And I'm going to have my scratch piece of paper near me so I could always clean off the pen, the blender pen. So I'm just gonna start from the corner here and I'm going to just do a curved stem and then just draw some little stems coming off. And again, just do, and sometimes if it's smaller, you don't have to do three. You could just do two or, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever there's room for. But again, this is the part where you do want to work just a little bit fast because you don't want the color to dry on you. The nice part about this is it's not really like any specific flower. It just looks really pretty with the contrast of the softness and then the harshness of the color. So again, I'm gonna just get some of that color off. So my blender pen is back to normal. And then we'll just keep going around Now we're gonna do the magenta color. And then use the blender pen to just soften some of those edges. And if you accidentally pick up too much color, like what I mean by that is if you put your pen in an area that's heavily saturated, then just kind of wipe it off so that the whole pen isn't too saturated in that color because you really want that contrast of the light and the dark. And then just clean off your pen, your blender pen, and move on. Now we're on orange. So 
So in some of these blank spots here, I'm going to just add a couple little leaves like this. It just looks a little bare, so we'll just add some leaves if there's some blank spots. Okay, so I'm going to clean off my blender pen. And then the reason why I went back to the red color, magenta red, is because I didn't want to have two purple stems right by each other. So I just went back to the magenta color. Now I am going to fill in some of the blank spots with some leaves. So we'll just add in. If the nib on these pens is ever messed up, which mine was, you can just swirl it around on a piece of paper and it just goes right back to its shape. So, again, just some bigger leaves in the areas that seem like they need more area to fill. If you have trouble working upside down, then just turn the card. So this is our piece right here. Before we peel the tape, I do want to just give it more time to dry. So I'm gonna give it a little more time to dry and then we'll come back and we will peel the tape. Okay, now that this is dry, I will take off the tape. Okay, so on the card we are going to write Happy Mother's Day and we are going to write it in this typewriter style font and these are hand lettering worksheets made by myself so if you are interested in learning more about these this style of font then you can find them in my etsy shop this whole digital workbook right here all right so planning it out i think we're gonna go with happy Mother's Day. And then also we are gonna do it all in lowercase font as well. And if you feel more comfortable, you can always pencil it out too, but I always just kind of go for it. It is like a hand lettered card and a handmade card. So I think it's okay if it's not perfect. Whoever your, whoever's going to get this card, your mom, I would hope that they would like it because it's homemade.
And that is our final product. And then you can just write whatever message you want on the inside. And I think whoever receives this will be so happy to have received it.